Where are you from? Uh, Southern California. Uh, from I used, Orange. I used to uh, live on Hermosa, Manhattan Beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been here many a time surfing. Back in the day. Yeah. Thanks for bringing back those old memories. <laughs> I had some yeah. great times. What do you do there? I surf a lot. That's about it. You I'm surf retired. a lot. From retired from what? From a restaurant business, Togo's Eateries. Okay. Now uh, let me let me digest what you got here. Make America think again and resist. What are you resisting? I'm resisting pedophiles in the White House. Pedophiles in the White House. Are you aware, let me ask you if you're aware of this, and then we can look it up to make sure that I said the, the right thing. Because right. I never say anything I don't know for sure. All okay? right. Are you aware that on February 17th of last year, Donald Trump started the Pedophile Task Force Ring, and the last I checked, which is a few months ago, that over 15,000 pedophiles have been busted and many major pedophile rings, some of them in Southern California where they caught children in cages. I talk to the prosecutor right here where you're standing that was in charge of that case. And he told me directly that it had directly to do with Donald Trump's task force ring. Did you know that? Well, I knew that they had all kinds of things back going back to uh, to Nixon because he's the one who started that whole situation. In fact, are you familiar Richard with? Nixon are you familiar with? Are you familiar with? Nixon. Are you familiar with the um, Franklin cover-up? No. You seem to not be have very much knowledge of the thing you say you were resisting. Well, Franklin was president. He was the no, no, no. Listen to me. The Franklin cover-up was a man named Larry King who was head of the Franklin Loan and Savings in Nebraska, where the where the um, uh, Boys Town was. Right. He was also head of Boys Town. Right. He was also a sadistic pedophile who ran a pedophile ring from Boys Town into the White House that was broken by the Washington Times. It was on the front page news. Yeah. For ten days and two days and disappeared. Right. Now they were going to air that on the Discovery Channel. Word came down from the powers that be to destroy all copies. You can still see it. It's called the Franklin Cover Up. So it had a pedophile ring going straight into the White House. Okay. Yeah, I know that. And then you had George W. Bush, of course, who uh, had that uh, male prostitute that was, you know, in the White House that we're talking about. But let's step over here. Well, yeah. yeah I know. And let's look at this right here. If you want to talk about pedophile rings. Let's go to oh, Anthony know. Weiner. I agree. I agree. All right. So, uh, you know, again, Look. this man, and I've talked to numerous people in law enforcement because I am a magnet for them, okay. that say this man is on the trail to busting the biggest pedophile rings in the world because he knows that that's how the elites control a lot of politicians and journalists. So I ask you again, what are you resisting? What pedophiles do you speak of well, that are in the White House? Like changing the Environmental Protection Agency into No, the we're speaking about the Wait, pedophile well, rings. No, changing it into the Environmental Pollution Agency by telling... Oh, so you're a, you're a believer in global EPA. warming too, am I correct? Oh, I mean... Are you? I believe in science. Oh, so do I. As a matter of fact, I uh, live with scientists for three and a half years in Southern California, right. Professor Ron Cohn, at which we started the Institute for Environmental Alternatives. I have forgotten more about this than you know. Uh, so I will ask you this question, Mr. Man, that doesn't seem to know much about what the hell you're resisting. This one simple question, and I'm reading it this right here in this book right here, plus I got several other questions. This book right here about secret empires, you know, this, the chapters I'm in are me reading on right now, is that when Barack Obama came in and started eviscerating all the coal and oil industry, all his best friends were buying up those stock shares a penny on the dollar. They were profiting from the very thing. Now, here's the question I'm going to ask about scientists. But let me ask you this one question. Let me ask you about this. Let me ask I don't care what it is. Let me ask you what the, uh, what, there's one question about global warming. Right. Okay. Okay. Carbon dioxide is supposed to be the big, big boogeyman, am I correct? Too much carbon dioxide in the air, am I correct? Cancer causing air. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. How much carbon dioxide, percentage-wise, makes up the atmosphere right now? How much? And at any given time, over the past couple of hundred years, what has it been? I don't know. 
Well, you would think that if you're out here protesting something, you would have some knowledge. So far, you've shown me you have no knowledge of anything. It's less than half of 1%. You ought to learn something before you start wearing shirts like that. Keep on showing your idiocy. Leave anything in the bulletproof vest oh, fund. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Any small donation oh, is always appreciated. Oh, no, I think... You I see, thought... otherwise we might think you're a moochin' liberal. Moochin', right. We yeah, where it says on the sign here, you know how liberals, they always like have someone else paying for That's their way. That's right. I want all the corporations to have the money. Oh, well, so you jump immediately to that. I'm not a corporation lady. I'm a hard-working son of a bitch. Well, you got what you need. What's that, dear? Are you being a moochin' liberal? No, him. And you know nothing about me, sir. Oh, well, why don't you tell me about you? I don't really know. Of course not, because you see, here's the, you know what my question was last week? Why won't liberals debate? And the reason is, oh, you see, you've got all the excuses. Well, let's get over here and debate. Maybe if you're so smart, you can teach me something. No, I just don't like to talk with people that I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, because obviously, you know, I'll, t I'll talk in a nice, quiet NPR voice for you. How you let's go NPR voice. So come on, let's maybe you could teach me something. Come on, let me. Why don't, what do you got against uh, President Trump? What do you got against? Him? Are you serious? Maybe because he's an ignorant pig. Well, you see, there you go again. Generalities. Why don't you give me a specific? Okay. What does he know about governing, history, science, art? Does he know anything about any of those things? Yes, as a matter of fact, he does. <laughs> he but does? Me, yeah, well, how, how do, do you, you know, know he doesn't? Because he hasn't proven to. He hasn't said. What, he prove, what would English. prove that to you, lady? What would prove that to you? He just, I'm, I'm sorry. If he, if you yes, you are sorry. Right? That's what I keep on pointing out. You are a very sorry person. You don't, all you speak is in generalities. You got no specifics whatsoever. I, I, I am angry at you, lady, because you're a miserable liberal. And I apologize. You should. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your You gave me nothing. I asked you for some specifics, and all you could do was give me generalities because you haven't got anything to talk about. And if anybody over there wants to debate me, come over. Lady, you can talk about me, but you can't talk to me. You can talk about me, but you can't talk to me. You have nothing. Yes, you are. You keep on saying you're sorry, and I keep on agreeing with you. You are a very sorry individual. Well, I'm asking you to come over here and talk to you. I'd like to know, why don't you educate me? If you're so damn superior, why don't you educate me? Come on, lady. And you still didn't tip me, you're still a moochin' liberal.